Welcome one and I'm Alexis, aka The Soft Reader, and I'm here today with a very exciting announcement. So I'm so happy to announce that I will be co-hosting a readathon called the Audiobookathon that is taking place from April 15th to April 28th. So it's a two week long readathon focusing on, you guessed it, listening to audiobooks. And me as well as the other co-hosts were all very big fans of audiobooks. We love to listen to audiobooks and we wanted to create an entire event focused on celebrating audiobooks and how much they can add to the reading community and how much they can bring reading to people who otherwise cannot read and we're just very excited to be able to spend two weeks in April celebrating audiobooks. I will leave the link to our Twitter page down below as well as links to all of my wonderful co-hosts. I've had so much fun setting this up and kind of creating challenge ideas and we're really excited for you guys to join along with the readathon. We're planning to have some pretty fun stuff happening the week of on our Twitter page so I definitely would recommend checking that out. There are seven challenges that we've come up with and we're totally fine with you guys double, triple, quadrupling up on your books. That is probably what most of us are going to be doing um, and we're just really excited. It's very chill readathon but we're really excited. So let me go ahead and tell you guys the challenges. So the first challenge is just to listen to an audiobook for 30 minutes a day. Again, it's a two week long readathon, so we're just looking at 30 minutes a day minimum. Again, really easy readathon. Um, that's kind of like the perfect commuting time. I feel like um, most people who commute for work, um, 30 minutes is like a pretty easily doable thing. Um, especially if you listen to your audiobook on more than 1.5 speed, you can get a pretty decent amount read. Um, so we're all really excited about that one, um, especially because you can apply any audiobook to that. Question number two is to listen to an audiobook that has a full cast. I feel like the full cast audiobooks are becoming really, really popular in recent years. Um, there's a lot of really great picks for this one as well. The next one is to listen to an audiobook for a book that is outside of your comfort zone. Um, we kind of didn't really want to pick a genre necessarily for everybody to read, um, so we kind of went with this outside of your comfort zone. Um, challenge because you can depict what that means for you. Um, like personally, I don't read that much nonfiction, so picking up a nonfiction audiobook for this might be a really good choice for me because it's definitely outside of my comfort zone. Challenge number four is to listen to one of your favorite books. Um, this is just a really nice way to kind of get yourself to reread an old favorite. Um, I know personally I struggle with rereading books, so picking up old favorites on audio is a really great way to get myself into rereading. Um, the next challenge is one we're really, really excited about, and that is to listen to a book that you have previously put down for whatever reason. Um, so a book that you've DNF'd or maybe decided to put on hold for whatever reason, it might not have been the right time or maybe it wasn't grasping your attention. So this is the perfect opportunity to go ahead and pick that book up on audio and see if you can finish it this time. The next challenge is to listen to an audiobook that has mixed media elements. Um, I feel like this is another thing that's become very, very popular in the last couple of years, so there's a lot of really interesting choices to choose for this one. Some audiobooks really take the mixed media element to the whole new level, and we're really excited for you guys to pick one in this category. And the last challenge is to listen to an audiobook that is 15 or more hours in length. Um, so we definitely kind of wanted to encourage people to kind of pick up those bigger audiobooks because we all kind of felt like audiobooks were a great way to get through larger books. I know personally for me, most of the very large books I, I read are audiobooks for me um, because it's a really easy way for me to personally get through really thick books. So hopefully this will encourage you guys to tackle some really big and intimidating books on your TBR. So those are the seven challenges that we're having for the audiobookathon. Again, the dates are April 15th through the 28th. And again, we definitely encourage you guys, if you want to double, triple, quadruple up, if you can find one book that's going to fit all seven of these categories, that's super impressive, good for you. Kind of just tackle it however you want, um, and just use that time to really celebrate um, listening to audiobooks and how incredible audiobooks are for our community. Alrighty, you guys, so I just wanted to pop in and give this announcement. Um, I will leave, like I said, my co-hosts down below. Um, they have their announcement videos as well as all the other great content that they create. So I definitely recommend you guys go and check them out. And also make sure you follow our Twitter down below, which I will link. I'm hoping to get back in the habit of making more videos soon because I know you guys haven't seen my face in like nine years. But I have another video, hopefully, that'll be coming up on that pretty soon. So if you like what I do, please subscribe. I am going to try to make sure I'm uploading at least one video a week. Stuff happens, but I'm going to try, and I will see you guys soon with the next one. Bye!